swing shot is how people with speech impediments say slingshot. It's also a pretty awesome iPhone game. Now this thing was just released to the App Store and it's basically the latest spin on the Angry Birds concept. Use your finger to launch objects at cute little animals. Thing is, Swingshot really is a new spin on it. Actually, it, it spins all over the place. This game's delightful. So basically, you control this group of animals, dangling from tree limbs with some wacky contraption of sticks, strings, and if you're lucky, femurs, as they attack another group of animals hanging in the tree across from them. Evidently, they have beef. I'm here to squash the beef by making monkey meat. Ape appetizers, gorilla gourmet, I could go on. Now, whereas you're firing mostly at stationary enemies in Angry Birds, Swingshot is altogether different. Not only are they moving, but they're also firing back, so you have to react as well. And that makes Swingshot play more like a strategic action game than a physics-based puzzler. So it works like this. You take turns throwing objects. First team to knock the other team down wins, easier said than done, because you're suspended from a tree. Your team swings all over the place, and that can make aiming your projectiles very difficult. In turn, it behooves you to deal as much damage as possible to avoid taking damage. After all, the more they're swinging, the more they miss you. But the game really comes together thanks to its customization. You earn bananas in battle, and you can use those to upgrade your mid-air massive mammals. Stronger ropes, better sticks, you can even unlock different animals, each of which has an advantageous ability. There are four worlds with 48 levels in total, as well as a few supplementary game modes, but the real draw of Swingshot is building your team and taking it to the treetops. The game plays well, it looks good, the physics are spot on. If you liked Angry Birds, you'll love Swingshot. This game is willy good. Really good.